Hello lovely people of the internet, it's Miriam and welcome to this week's video. Before I jump into talking about this painting, I quickly wanted to let you know that it is available as a print on my shop if you're interested in grabbing yourself a copy. And also I have a really in-depth step-by-step of how I painted it, the materials I used, the choices I made, everything in detail up on my Patreon if that's something that you'd be interested in reading. And also on Patreon, but completely free this time, is a poll to help me decide which of my Inktober 2017 drawings I should keep as prints and which ones I should discontinue. So if you're interested in giving me your opinion on this subject, you can access the poll in the link in the description below. Again, it's completely free and public. You do not have to be a patron to be able to vote on that poll. It will end at the end of May. And once I've been able to decide which ones I'm going to keep as prints and which ones I'm going to discontinue, I will have a clearance sale to give everyone a chance to grab any design that will be permanently discontinued before they disappear. So you can go in the description below if you would like to grab a print of the piece I'm painting in this video, if you would like to check out my Patreon, or if you would like to vote in the Inktober 2017 print poll. So this painting isn't going to be a very long one, partly because I'm genuinely very very tired <laughs> and also because I feel like I've uploaded quite a few lengthy videos in the past few weeks so I just wanted something a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chill, something that wasn't as extensive for you guys to watch and was just a good time to hang out and catch up. The piece I'm painting in this video is called Bear and is probably one of my personal favourites for the past few months. Ever since the beginning of 2019, I have been struggling with a lot of doubt and a lot of self-confidence problems and a lot of frustration when it comes to my final results. I've had a lot of concepts and a lot of ideas that I really love and that I can't wait to put to paper, but I've always had a sort of blockage because whenever I start painting, I'm always really, really worried that the final result is going to be is not going to do the concept justice, which is always scary when you have an idea that you really love, you really want it to be um, done to the best of your abilities, but sometimes you feel like your abilities are just not as good as what you wish they were in order to honour the idea you have. I know I'm not the only one in that. And so I've been experimenting a lot with preparing my paintings more and doing a lot of colour comps and sketches and compositions before I jump into the final painting to see if that helped my process. It also feels more professional, so for some reason psychologically it's been validating my painting process for me because I feel like I've done all the work that I could do and that I jumped through all the hoops that I needed to jump through in order for my work to be able to be called professional but I think that I have now strayed a little bit into the realm of creative overthinking. <laughs> I recently realized that one of the risks that come from me trying to prepare my piece too much in advance and trying to be too much in control over the final result has led to me actually using that preparation process as a form of procrastination and as a form of overthinking. I think there is a fine line that I personally need to be very careful not to cross where preparation for a piece becomes a means of excusing not jumping into the final result because you are afraid of it. Don't get me wrong, I think that preparing for a piece is really really good, it's really great for technical skill, for evolving your style, for, um, for learning how you work and all sorts of different things, but I think it's also easy to use it as an excuse not to finalise the piece because you never feel quite ready, but in reality it's your fear of the final result talking. And so with this painting that you see in this video, I actually decided to bypass all the preparation that I've been doing for a lot of my other pieces and just jump straight into the concept itself. And to be honest, I'm really happy with how the piece turned out. And looking back on a lot of my work, I think a lot of my favourite personal pieces have been things that I haven't planned at all and just jumped straight into the final product almost immediately. And so I think that in the future I'm going to have to explore this limit between preparation and overthinking because it's not something I ever thought would be a problem before I started preparing my pieces and working on them before jumping into the final result. 
But now looking back on my work and looking back on who I am in general and how I function in general, it just makes sense that it would develop into that kind of a problem for me. So that was a very interesting personal development note. Um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this slightly shorter video and this painting. I hope that you are all well. Don't forget to let me know which Inktober pieces you would like to see me keep as prints on my shop. The link is in the description below. Um, I hope you guys are all really well and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye everyone!